What's up, YouTube? I'm Mr. No Name, or Max, as people know in the real world, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys my updated competitive classes for SD, CTF, and Hardpoint. Many of these are interchangeable. A few things I'm going to talk about first. So, Stem and Cloak are banned in GB variant, but not in an MLG variant as of me making this video right now. However, I believe it's going to be banned, so I haven't used those two EXO abilities at all. Also, another thing that I, I left on one of my classes just to remind you guys and I suggest using it I guess until it's banned is the threat grenade it's not banned yet so you can keep using that if you want um so first class here is my BA, BAL rush class so we got of course the BAL with stock quick draw and grip as I've learned grip is very very essential on the BAL thank you to those who pointed that out early on to me on my other competitive class video um, I learned that I picked that up pretty quick and it, it helps quite a bit. I got lightweight, cold blooded, toughness, and blast suppressor with overclock and two frag grenades. Basically, I can run anywhere and I can throw a bunch of grenades in there. Um, and of course, I can dodge any grenades being thrown at me. So it's a very, very good rushing class, in my opinion. Um, I use it in S and D, I use it in respawn. It, it's just an all around class that works pretty well. Next class is my BAL Slay class, and this one I use to play slower S and D, or I can use it as kind of an anchor class sort of thing if I want to. Um, if I want to get speedy across the map, um, on here I've got the red dot grip and quick draw, so no stock this time with lightweight and flak jacket, and then toughness and blast suppressor with overclock and a single frag grenade. Um, like I said, I can kind of get to where I need to go very quickly and then just kind of set up on a head glitch or whatever. Um, and you can use it as an anchor class as well if you want to. Um, I tend to use a different ability on my on my anchor classes, but this is one I can use if they're not really using grenades or anything. Uh, next class here is my BAL Thermal class. This one is usually just for um, S and D. If I do pull it out under a different one, I'll change the EXO ability. Obviously, I got the thermal stock and quick draw. With thermal on, you don't really need grip. Um, I, it seems to work just fine without it, really. And then we've got lightweight, flak jacket, cold blooded, toughness, blast suppressor, and exo mute. Um, this is one for staying back on long head glitches or for using them for some of the plant spots that I've found, especially on Riot. Um, just kind of staying back and getting those picks from afar. My next class is my IMR Slay class. I still use this gun. Um, it's. It's weird. I feel like this gun is really good at close range, but not as good at far range, which is weird considering it's a burst weapon, but I feel like you can one burst people up close, but from afar it feels like three, four, five bursts, and it just gets really, really iffy. So I use this as more of a rushing AR class sort of thing, getting up in their face. Um, obviously I got my lightweight flak jacket, cold blooded, toughness, blast suppressor, and overclock so that I can get there very, very quickly. And my next one is my objective class for hardpoint, and I'm using the MP11 because there a lot of the subs got kind of a nerf almost, and it, it's been really really weird. Um, on it, I'm using the advanced rifling, laser sight, and quick draw. And then I've got lightweight and flak jacket, toughness, blast suppressor. Then I got the EXO trophy system and a threat grenade. So let's talk about the trophy system first. Um, it actually lasts a, a little while. It's pretty good, so I I would like to use this breaking hard points going in there. Um, trying to survive any grenades being thrown in and then the threat grenade it's not banned yet I don't want to use it very often because I don't want to get used to it But you know you can throw it in real quick and see where they are it doesn't last very long It only lasts like a second to two seconds it feels like but it, it can show you where they are and then they have to move so You can use that if you want Next class is my objective class for CTF. I don't play objective very much very much That's why I've only got two objective classes, but we've got advanced rifling quick draw and grip on this one and what I'm doing here is I've got the lightweight and overcharged and then toughness blast suppressor and then overclock and a smoke grenade reason for the grip over the laser sight on this one is I want to be able to kill at a little bit further range um, I want to be able to hold my shot steady because CTF I tend to be in a little bit longer range gun battles the over clock is of course to be able to go very very quickly and the smoke is to go and grab their flag without them seeing or things of that nature um, so just a good rushing class get in there get the objective of course if you wanted to change this one up a little bit for S&D you could do it but uh, that's that's what I use it for next one is my shotgun class 
And what we got here is we got a bulldog with laser sight and advanced rifling with overkill, and it's we, we've got an MP11 with advanced rifling, and then lightweight, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor, overclock, and smoke grenade. Um, I think I've actually got a few gameplays with this class that I'm, I might show you guys. I'm not sure yet, but um, it's very, very fun to go in, kill somebody or two people with the bulldog, and then quickly switch to the MP11 and pick up a third from afar because they think you're reloading. Um, this one is very, very good for quick rushes, getting up in their face. Um, you can use it as an OBJ class in S and D if you want to rush up to the bomb. Um, it, it works really, really well. I love this class, especially on the map Detroit. Next class is my sniper class. Don't use it very often because I'm a terrible sniper, but from my teammates, I gather this is probably one of the better classes to use. So you, what you want is the MORS. I don't know if there's a way you normally pronounce that, but that's how I'm going to say it with the thermal sight and then overkill MP11 with advanced rifling. And you got lightweight, cold-blooded, fast hands, toughness, blast suppressor, and exo mute. So basically, you can move around silently, you can get in position, snipe, very quickly switch to your MP11 if somebody jumps up to you, and kill them. That's essentially what this class is for. Seems to work pretty well in my experience, so hopefully it works out for you guys. Now on to my anchoring classes, because I'm 99% sure that I'm going to be playing anchor in this game for hardpoint. Um, I got my basically my BAL class from before. Only difference is that I have the EXO trophy system on this one, and you know the trophy system lasts a while. So what I can do is get up on a head glitch, and then when they start coming, I can just turn that on. And while they're throwing grenades and stuff, I'm not getting damaged, so it can keep me alive a little bit extra long. And then the other one is my AK-12, and this one I'll use an SMD too sometimes, but I'll take off the trophy. The AK just seems to be like a laser beam. If you hit your shots, it's very, very deadly. So I like to go back and forth between the BAL and the AK-12 for um, the anchoring position. Um, it just seems to work out for me. And just so you guys know, the reason I'm using frags again over stuns and EMPs is that the, the frags actually can do some damage and you can get some kills or at least weaken them. I feel like the stuns and the EMPs don't last nearly long enough. The stuns seem almost worthless to me and then the EMPs only stop exo movements for like three seconds so I, it's just not as helpful to me i'd rather use a frag grenade um of course if you really want to you could use the stuns or the um emps if you wanted to but that's my classes so as you guys can see we're coming to the end of this video if you enjoyed it then please like comment and or subscribe if you didn't then let me know what i can do better next time constructive criticism goes a long way guys until next time everybody peace out